Good afternoon, my fellow Flight Sim fans. Uh, this video is being done at the request of a friend of mine, possibly at the need of others, I would hope, uh, to make a tutorial video on how to set up uh, the Flight Sim Economy uh, plugin and uh, required uh, clients and uh, additional software. And basically, going from having nothing but the Flight Simulator installed on your hard drive to uh, operating an FSC. So, we're going to do that as quick as possible. So, uh, given uh, our desktop, uh, an install of P3D or uh, FSX, in my case, I'm using P3D, we're going to go ahead and open Internet Explorer. And we are going to navigate to this address, which I will post in the video description. Uh, but you can access this by Googling FSC Economy Operations Guide. And this is one of the reasons I'm making this tutorial, guys, is uh, frankly, uh, my, my honest feedback for the FSC devs is this this page is a mess it, it really needs some revising I feel like I catch on pretty quick and I, I looked at this page in utter confusion for a little while trying to figure out how to do it you have to kinda of skip down here then go back up here so let's go ahead and get the first thing we need for flight sim economy which is the sim connect or FSU IPC plugin for flight sim or P3D I use sim connect and that's what I'll show in the tutorial all right, uh, I recommend it. I had problems with FSU IPC. Maybe it works better for Flight Sim X. I don't know. That's that's at your discretion. But you can use either one. There's some kind of vague instructions here about how to do it. Uh, but what you're going to do is go ahead and uh, use this download link. Just open it. Um, I already have Sim Connect installed, so I'm not going to go through it again for fear of mucking something up. But uh, it'll download your Sim Connect SP1. Uh, once that's downloaded, run that in administrator mode uh, make sure it installs it should install pretty quickly here so once that's done you're gonna come back to this page after your sim connect uh, install is uh, done one thing you can verify uh, do to verify your sim connect install is just go to your control panel add or remove programs sort by name and then look on down under Microsoft you should see uh, sim connect client to Microsoft Flight Simulator even if you have P3D by the way it's going to say Microsoft Flight Simulator and then you'll look at the product version 1.0.61259 or .0 make sure that's installed so sim connect is good we're now going to proceed to uh, this <laughs> tucked away a little link using Internet Explorer this is very important you're going to click here to go to the initial installation page and click the install button so I will do that you will get this page and what this will do using Internet Explorer is it will install uh, the FS economy client for flight sim X and P3D version 1.1.0.17 and you're gonna hit the install button I'm not gonna do it because it's already done uh, but it will run through the install for you and it should work successfully and at that point you do have SFS economy uh, installed and, and almost ready. So what you do is go to your start menu, go ahead and find, uh, find, find, can't talk today, FS Economy, which in this case uh, is under FS Economy.net. You'll open the client, which I already had in this case. <laughs> so, and uh, it's not going to look like this for you. You're not, you're not going to see all this stuff. Uh, you're going to see a blank area. What you'll need to do first is go to file, go to config put in your username and password here which uh, my password is hidden thankfully or everybody on YouTube would have my FSE account uh, go ahead and put in the uh, one now this is not your forum uh, username and password although they should be close this is your game world which uh, you'll need to go to the FS economy forums and request a game world account okay so once that's done go ahead and t click on your simulator tab make sure that local computer is checked under your config and uh, show dialog when flight is finished uh, that's your discretion if you want to see a dialog that says your flight is logged it's helpful to, to know it worked properly then uh, that's a good thing to do okay uh, hit OK and what will happen after you hit OK is the plugin will refresh and you will see your dashboard which will have your username your cash balance all that crap uh, pretty broke right now because uh, giving all my money away and buying shit but uh, <laughs> anyways so let's go ahead and um, and do a little scenario um, showing how to actually start a flight. So I'm going to use a pretty large plane in this case, 
but uh, let's find an airfield. So you would go to airports, uh, search for an airfield, airfield you want to go to. In this case, I'm OCO2. And I'm going to rent this Bombardier Dash 8. Uh, the way you rent a plane is you go to an airfield, you look under aircraft, and you select the rent option. I will rent dry. And then uh, you go to an assignment at the airfield. You'll select one, add assignment to my flight. And once all that's done, let's proceed to the My Flight page. Okay, and we have two options here. We have the holding area and the loading area. Okay, the holding area is where you can hold up to 60 assignments to uh, to let you fly later. All right, the loading area is the assignment that will be on your next flight. It's very important you know the distinction. You can check and move those assignments back and forth at your leisure. Now down here we're going to configure my aircraft to make sure it's good. I'm going to hold the aircraft when no assignments on board so if somebody else doesn't rent it. Uh, you'll see that we can go to our refuel page. I'm going to uh, fill my uh, dash up to 50% uh, fuel which is 886 gallons. We'll select the per fuel provider. We will refuel the plane. Our plane now shows 50% fuel. Okay, so everything in FSC is ready. So we're now going to launch Prepare 3D or uh, Flight Sub X in your case, if that's that's your taste. <clears throat> and uh, stand by here as the sim loads. Now we see two icons at the bottom. One is a World Wide Web symbol that shows that you are connected to the FSC network. That's very important. This one that's changing now is showing that my Flight Sim Economy plugin is connecting to my simulator. You now see it's connected. That's really important to note because if it's not connected, nothing's going to happen in FS Economy despite what's going on in your simulator. So we got two connected. We're good. So we're going to now go to OCO2 in the sim. O C was it O two or zero two? I bet it was zero t uh, C O two C O two. Yep, that's it. We'll just do active runway. Now, in the plane I'm using, there's a little glitch where I have to load in a Cessna first. That's not going to be the case for whatever your aircraft of your choosing is, but uh, I'm going to do that just to be safe here. <clears throat> And remember that the aircraft you're using in-game uh, has to match the one you're using in FS Economy. Uh, I can do another tutorial down the road showing how to verify that, but uh, if you aren't sure if the aircraft that you want to use, sorry about that, adjusting my headset, is in Flight Sim Economy, under the Home tab on your dashboard, you can go under Aircraft uh, List and then look up that aircraft and the uh, alias and make sure that it's listed under aliases. Okay, so we're in the Cessna here. We're going to go to the Dash 8. Doesn't matter which one. It will fly be. Lots of noise as the plane starts up. And there's uh, one more step that's real important that uh, I need to make sure that we follow along here. So right now I pulled up my fuel panels. My plane starts with the starting script. And you'll see that I have an imbalanced load of uh, 2,000 pounds on one side, 4,000 on the other. This applies to all planes, and you'll need to make sure this happens or you will uh, waste your time in your flight. Okay, so as my plane starts, I'm going to now minimize. Uh, note that you can do this through the add-ons drop-down menu, and you should see the FS, uh, FS economy there, but I don't particularly like doing it that way because I've had glitches with it. But I minimize, I go to flight, this page is blank, I go to action, and I hit start flight. And as I do that, you'll see that I can verify my rental time and cost, <clears throat> which is updated in real time. My time left. I also can verify that I have <clears throat> two passengers on board, two Rocky Mountain ragamuffins, going from where I'm at, OCO2, to Kilo Alpha Echo uh, Golf, which would be a horrible waste of fuel in my dash shape, but this is just a training scenario. And you can now see my fuel panel has changed. FS Economy went into the sim and updated the fuel as it should be. Very important you check that, guys. If you don't check that, you will burn yourself. Okay? Um, I'm not in this video going to go through a whole flight. Uh, I may make another video with a tutorial flight. But uh, we'll go ahead and depart here, and uh, I'm going to cancel this flight after the video. But note that uh, once you uh, land back on the ground, FS Economy uh, looks for your plane to be stopped and the parking brake on. And once the parking brake is engaged, 
uh, FS economy will log your flight. And uh, the message you're going to get is a little pop-up window that says your flight is logged. You can see the results here and either your aircraft is still rented or your aircraft is released. If you uh, don't see that or if you get another message, you'll know something has gone wrong. So uh, this is uh, just enough to get you started from, um, from the get-go here. And uh, I'll probably make another video actually showing a flight, a short flight, so you can see how everything works. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys who are new to the uh, FSE world. And uh, do enjoy it because it is a lot of fun. It adds to the flying quest.